<laughs> What's your name, brother? I'm Eugene. Eugene, my name is Wahab. Nice to meet you. We brought you over to the table, my dear brother. Hey, I like your outfit, by the way, man. Oh, thanks. You're just nice, my brother. You're just nice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, what brought you over to the table? Um. I have a female friend. Okay. Who's very intelligent. Okay. Uh, she just started dating a Persian guy. Okay. Okay. And you know he's a very good man. Okay. But I figure if they are together for an extended time, yes. she's going to end up in a Persian community. Yes, 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 yes. Where Islam is big. Yes, but Persians, they, fo they follow a different sect of Islam. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. want her yes. to read the Quran. Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. It is important. So she is well-versed in the actual source material. Absolutely. I think that's great. So here's a gift from me to you, okay, brother? Can I take this one? Okay, yeah, whichever one you want. Yes, go ahead. Whichever no, one you want. I'm a perfectionist. Okay, no problem, yeah, no problem. Right <laughs> yeah. No problem, it's okay. Now I'm going to move this over here. So perfect. Okay. It's just going to fill in the spot. Yeah, and I, and I thought about, I need... I Do you need want one for yourself as well? I don't mind giving you one for yourself as well, my brother. I have plenty of them. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go, you pick. Just, I'm already you're, you're, you're a with information. You're a perfectionist, so I'll let you pick whichever one you want. Well, this time you pick for me. <laughs> you said this time I pick for you. Okay, well, let me see. Okay, here. This one. No creases on it, all right? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Brother. So, what are you guys you saying? Persian, they're Shiite? Yes, like yes, you yes. Have, like two different. Yes, so, so let's say, for instance, so they're Sunni and they're Shia, right? So, let's say there is, like, there is differences, right? But there are certain extreme versions of Shia, right, that go against the teachings of Islam. Because in Islam, we have a very strict monotheistic policy, meaning yeah. that you worship God and God alone, right? You don't call out to anyone else for help besides God, right? But yeah. there's certain extreme sects of Shia that call out other to God for help. So for us, that takes you they out. Call what? They call out to like someone other than God for help. You understand? Yeah. And that's unacceptable. You can only ask the Creator to help you. So what? you can't ask the creation. Oh, what happened? <laughs> no, it's very logical. Yeah, it's very logical. Yeah. What you're saying? Yeah. I'm just. Can you give me like an example of who they call out? Yeah, they they call to uh, like Hazrat Ali. Like basically, it's a member of one of the Prophet's family, right? So after the death of the Prophet Muhammad, right? Then they uh, they so there's different types of Shias, right? There's Shias who just have a political thing where they felt like after the death of the Prophet that Hazrat Ali should have been the next leader, yeah. right? Because he is the bloodline of the Prophet Muhammad, right? Yeah. Other people, they disagree. That, that's okay. But then there's certain extreme Shias who worship, and I mean, they worship God, but they call out, they call out to other than God when it comes to for help of things. You understand? Yes. And that I takes do. you out of the fold. Like, for instance, let's say if I were to pray to God and ask Muhammad, Oh, Muhammad, help me. Then I, I'm out of the fold of Islam because I asked the creation to help Muhammad me. Muhammad cannot help Exactly, he exactly. He's gone, exactly. We believe that he's dead. He's just a human being. So and if we call out to him, that will take you out of the fold. That will take you, uh, that would mean you're calling upon the creation and not the creator. And that's what Islam is. When you submit only to the creator, not the creation. Do you understand? I do. I do. The only... Um, kind of problem I have with it. Sure, sure, I have sure. thought of this before. Sure, 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 sure. Is that God is very high. Yes. It's very high. I have gone through a lot of work to eventually like boom, oh, <laughs> you know? Um, and in the Bible, it's only like few people at a, you know, at a time could connect to God, right? But during Judea, like a certain person had to be dedicated to like only service of God to be connected. So direct connection to God for a lot of people is kind of... It's way, hard, yes. It's unattainable. Yes, yes, yes. It's way too hard. So people have 
uh, like intermediaries. But you see, that's what Islam, we don't believe in that. We believe everybody has a direct connection with the Creator. Because we believe that's how much the Creator loves His creation. Is that what the Quran teaches? Yes, that's what the Quran teaches, yes. I mean, that you, there is no middleman between you and God. There is no middleman. That you have a direct connection with God. You don't need the mosque. You don't need the church. You don't need nothing. You have a direct connection. You could be in the jungle. You could be in the middle of the ocean. And as long as you have that direct connection with God, that is the most important thing, my brother. You are talking about like the level of Abraham, Moses, um, uh, who was later, later like David, you know, King David, you Solomon, are, like, yeah. the people that could the prophets connect to God directly. You know, yeah, people have the potential because they're creations, and you know, but. Um, it's a high standard, I think. Like you know, it's it's my educated. Um, it's a it's a high standard, and I was kind of like you. Like yeah, hey, anybody could connect to God. Like you just gotta do your work. But with time, I saw that you know, most regular people they just don't have. The capacity. Well, you see, that's what you we know, believe. Because God is great power, mm -hmm. so you need to you need to go for a lot of training in life, for a lot of in order to then be able to connect to that power and receive intelligible communication from that power. You see, so this comes more of like the Catholic background where they have saints and stuff like that. Yeah. So you see, that's but why they have. Of like course, of course. But for us, we believe that this is part of what the devil wants people to believe. That they don't have a direct connection with their Lord. That you need a middleman between you and God. You understand? Because that middleman could could quickly corrupt the message that he's getting from God. He could tell you, if he's getting a message of God, he could tell you something else. But uh, that's why in the Quran, it teaches you that everyone has a direct connection with their Creator. What if God tells the person who is connected to God, like, hey, I need you to go over and tell this person this or help this person. The people that are not a, at a level where they can connect to God because that's a very high level. So God has messengers, right? Like yes, Muhammad yes. was you, a Yes, you see, like, right? you see, but you're talking about revelation. That's different. No, messengers. Yes. People who could connect to God and who God can ask to do things, you know, educate. And people. we believe that as well. Those are called prophets. We call yeah. them prophets and messengers, yes. Yeah. So, like, for instance, there's, there's prophets that came with revelation, right? For instance, Jesus came with revelation. Moses came with revelation, right? So those are prophets that came with revelation. We revelation? believe. Mean? Revelation means they came with holy books. Meaning like, you know, God revealed information to them yeah. that they revealed to the people. Right. And we believe them because they come with miracles. Like, yeah. let's say Moses, he split the ocean, right? Yeah, right? And he split the sea. That's why we believe him, because he's shown us through miracles that he is truly speaking from God. If he didn't do that, how do you know you could trust him? You understand? They have to prove themselves with miracles. Like Jesus, he proved himself with miracles as well. Jesus had many miracles. That's why we trust what Jesus has to say. But let's say, let's say you come and you say, hey, uh, uh, God is speaking to me. Now I would test you. Okay, if God is really speaking, prove it to me. Show me a miracle, right? But if you cannot produce a miracle, then maybe we won't trust you. You understand? Yeah, I, I, I understand that. I understand. Yes. I understand that, like, you, if somebody... But the thing is, religion in essence, in, it's it's very simple. But you have to understand, Islam is different. Because I understand you're, you're bringing you know, so, the mentality of the, the Christian and the Catholic mentality. The Islamic mentality is completely different. So but I, I do understand where you're coming from. Yeah. But this is a completely different mentality than the Islamic philosophy is completely different. It's not completely different. No, it is. It is because I come from a Christian background. He's an ex-Catholic as well. So we, we understand. We understand the other... It's, the, it's not completely different in a way that 
both religions believe there is a creator. Yes, yes. The creator is the source of law. Yes, yes. Right? Like the rules that we need to follow, that we need to live by. Yes. Original Judea, you know, in the Old Testament, it was for any violation of the law, it was a death sentence. Right? Stone to death, stop to death. So well, well, we we don't believe that. We don't believe that. If, but I understand. I understand. That is that is what they believe. No, yes. It's 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 the purpose. The, the, yeah, the punishment of sin is death. Yes, I understand. The, yeah, the purpose of that was to establish uh, a law abiding society. Yes, yes, yes. Society that lived according to specific laws and that, you know, tribalism or whatever they thought of. Absolutely. absolutely. You know, so it was to establish and and uh, that that's common between you know Abrahamic religions, you could say that the core. But like for the instance, like, of the we religion, don't believe in original sin. Like for us, we don't believe in the concept of the original sin. Like we don't uh, inherit the sins of Adam. You know how obviously the Christians they believe in the concept of the original sin, right? That Adam sinned, right? And then we all inherit the sins of Adam. As Muslims, we do not believe that. We believe Almighty God forgave Adam and Eve before placing them on earth, and we do not inherit the sins of anyone. Well, that we're all yeah. accountable for ourselves. Dude, there's a lot of bad ideas right now in Christianity. It's like crazy. When you listen to what they're talking about. For instance, like, the preacher right there, he said, if you don't believe Jesus is God, then yeah. you believe in Satan. Yeah, they're like idol worshippers. Yeah. They have turned the figure of Jesus into an idol and then they are putting forward Jesus before God. And that's not correct. Oh my, I'm so happy. Dude, thank you. I'm so happy that you recognize that. Yeah, that's beautiful, bro. Because it's all about putting God first. Yeah. Right? It's all about putting God first. Yeah, yeah because God is not a person. Yeah. And, you know. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, but it, it's interesting. I, I've been through quite a, quite a lot in there. Uh, spiritual journey and what did I want to say because we went on to Christian thing <laughs> kind of lost uh, Well, actually, we're, we're actually on the in the midst of packing up, anyways, because it's yeah, getting kind of yeah. cold. I, I lost my thought. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> no problem, uh, no problem, brother. Hey, could, but, can I uh, offer you one more gift? I would love to offer you a prayer mat from the holy city of Mecca. It's a gift from me to you. What color would you like? Take. Uh, you said that you you have a friend, right? So maybe you could offer her one as well. Oh, like this? Yes, yes. Go ahead. It's a prayer mat. Have you ever heard of the holy city of Mecca? Oh, a prayer mat. Yes, yes. It's all from the holy city of Mecca. I'd love to offer you one as a gift, my brother. What color do you like? What's your favorite color? Well, not pink. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you'll be surprised how many guys pick pink, man. Well. <laughs> I'm happy you're not one of them, you know? <laughs> well, it's just, you know, uh, I don't know. I kind of like. I kind of like that one. I guess. Which one, brother? I kind of like that one. This one? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. It's a gift for me to you. And which one would you like for your friend? Well, this will be dope. Because I want her. I want her to succeed in this. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Why not? Why not? If, if, if she becomes an expert, you know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I I I, uh, I help you to succeed. Of course. Yeah. Uh, me too. Me too, my brother. Do you think she'll want the pink one? Yeah. I guess, okay. You know. Go ahead. We'll, we'll we'll take the pink. Yes, sir, brother. You seriously giving all of this to me? Yeah, of course, uh, man. Hey, thank you. Of course, brother. What are you surprised, man? Well, I don't. Know. <laughs> it seems like you're surprised. So, along with it comes a prayer manual that teaches you how to worship the Most High as well. Okay. okay cool. Do you want a bag so it's yeah, easy for sure. you to carry? Beautiful. And so here's a bag, my brother. And um, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you dearly. Uh, please, uh, all I ask is just keep me in your prayers, okay? Okay. Yes, sir, what my brother. What is your name again? My name is Abdul Wahab. Abdul Wahab. Wahab? Yes. That means the servant of God. Okay? You are. Thank yeah. you, my brother. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate that, right? Yes, sir, man. You need any help? Uh, you need I help? I think I got it. You got it? Okay, beautiful. Uh, all right, there you yeah, go. Abdul Wahab. Abdul Wahab. Yes, sir, brother. Okay.
Okay, man? Well, God bless you, my brother. Have a good one, okay? I'm glad take, I by. Yes, I'm happy you stopped by too, okay? Take care, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God bless you. <laughs> سألهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم نذير قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكذبنا وكلنا ما نزل الله وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعكل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير فاعترفوا بذنبهم فسهقا لأصحاب السعير